So, uh, do you guys know about a new Ubisoft Extreme Sports game called Steep? Steep. No. Yep. Steep. Steep. It is an open world, uh, skiing game. Looks really cool, actually. So you go around like the freaking mountains and all that. You uh, find challenges. So like there's like the wingsuit challenge and there's like the two. Oh the... yeah, I see. It looks really cool. But a professional skier named Matilda, Matilda Rappaport, she was doing like filming for the game. Uh, she died. Tragic accident. Oh. Yeah. So she, st- she was 30 years old and she died following an avalanche in Chile when they were filming for Steep. Uh, she's Swedish. She won the Free Ride World Tour 2013 Extreme Verbia event. That's a long ass name. Uh, she was taken to the hospital following the accident, but succumbed to oxygen depri- de- deprivation and brain damage. Um, wow. Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah. I'm not. Wow. Uh, yeah. Uh, so, uh, Ubisoft came up with a statement: Matilda's courage, passion, and desire to share the sport she loved with the world serve as an ex- inspiration for other athletes and for us all. Yeah, tragic accident has deeply touched us. Our hearts and prayers go out to her husband and her wider family at this difficult time. So yeah, she's actually a very, very... Uh, she has a lot of achievements and uh, she's very well known in that particular field in uh, extreme sports and uh, winter sports and stuff like that. So yeah, that really sucks. Thing is v- very, very... Um, there's very little things like this happening when it comes to like filming for games, I mean. I remember reading once. Um, I can't remember which Transformers movie. I believe it was a Transformers movie. Uh, so the stunt woman was in the car. And... It transformed and crushed her. <laughs> Shh. Um, a Sorry. very thick... Inappropriate. <laughs> a very thick cable snapped. And just swiped at the car. It took the roof clean off. As well as her, as the top of her head. I'm not kidding. I read this That's, shit. Uh, I think a few years ago. I believe it was Transformers. I think it was Transformers. I'm not even. Well, sure. I know like two. I think more than one stunt person has died on the set of the currently in the works, uh, Resident Evil movie. What? Yeah. Like it's, it's like there's like more than one accident has occurred, resulting in more than one death total. The hell? I could be wrong. But Holy at least shit. one has happened. God damn. Resident Evil Stun Woman. This happened December 21st, 2015. Oh, this one I remember. Uh, Star Wars Stun I Woman one to have arm amputated then. after Resident Evil set injury. Okay, so not dead. God I mean, not damn. Not great either, obviously. I mean, obviously, st- st- um, people who are doing stunts have I've one of the most it. dangerous jobs yeah. in the world. <laughs> Like, holy yeah, shit. Yeah. You can't really expect not And get this hurt is why though. I highly respect Jackie Chan and his work. Yeah, he did his because own he, shit. He, until when he was really old, when he was know. like 50 yeah, something. Like course, crazy. Like, holy shit. I mean, have you seen. Oh, on the one hand, it's cool. Yeah. On the other hand, don't do the stunt to be the cool guy because if you get hurt, a lot of people's jobs are on the line. Yeah. <laughs> Have you seen um the old Jackie Chan movies at the end during the credit scenes? All the outtakes. They they show oh fuck man, him falling from like three stories down to his head and shit like that. Yeah. Holy shit. There's a recent one. What's the movie where? Not a recent one. I mean, there was a, there was an American movie. (laughs) Yeah, I think it was. He rides on a hovercraft. Maybe it's not a recent one. But um, the scene where he jumps from like a thing onto the moving hovercraft and he just like shatters his ankle during it. But, like, he still finishes the movie. Like, if you look really carefully... James Bond? You can s- No, no, it was a Jackie Chan movie. A oh, Jackie Chan movie. Um, if you look carefully, you can see, like, one of his shoes becomes, like, a boot for the rest of the movie. Because it's, like, a cast boot to hold his... God uh, damn. His, and he was wow. still doing it? Place. Fuck. What a chance. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I... I don't know about him personally, and his political views are kind of... Mm, but, um... His work is fucking amazing. Oh, yeah. uh, and he does it because he wants it to be authentic. So yeah. Of course. 
Jackie Chan, one of my uh, childhood heroes. Yep. I don't know. I watched so much of it, so many of his movies. Holy shit. On Netflix, I haven't watched it yet. It's a Chinese film where he plays like a... A cop. God dang it. I'm going to look up on IMDb. <laughs> he, he's a cop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Police story. But he's like, he's like locked into... Is it police story? Jackie Chan. This? So not Jackie Chan Adventures. Are you just going to Google Jackie Chan? There's like a bunch of... I did. Yeah, let's get to But it's a recent movie. Oh, right. Oh, he's in the Karate Kid 2 and Rush Hour 4. No, don't do Rush it, Jackie Chan. Have some standards. Uh, yeah. Oh, rumored, rumored, rumored. Oh. Yeah, it was Police Story Lockdown. Police Story is one of his most popular and most successful series. I don't think I've seen any of them. I've it's seen very popular. trailers for it. Um, my favorite fight scene is in a movie called uh, Poly Chun. Oh, it's called Gorgeous. So good, mm, man. Gorgeous. That fight scene. Because he was fighting like another champion featherweight guy. It's fucking really good. It's really, really good. Um, the Drunken Master gets all the love. I love Drunken Master. I love it. It's a good movie. I mean, I'm not saying it shouldn't. I, wa- I watched all It's the one most frequently labeled as like best Jackie Chan fight scene, I think. Because like the final boss in that movie is like his real life bodyguard. Oh, really? So they spar all the time. Yeah. <laughs> That's Damn. awesome. Um, there's actually a new Jackie Chan movie. It is called... Uh, let me just... Well, looking at this list, we got the Lego Ninjago. We got the Nut Jump. Skip Trace. His co- there it is. His I co-star it. is Johnny Knoxville. Oh, really? Yeah. It's about... Uh, it's it's about deets. Johnny Knoxville. Oh, Johnny Knoxville. Yeah. What is this? So, uh, I think Johnny Knoxville Uh-oh. got got into My a bit Skype of trouble. Froze. With... Oh, yeah. Your Skype froze. Did I get dropped from the call? I'm going to keep talking yes. because just, Audacity is still just, going. Just pretend you don't know because... It could just be my internet, Skype. though. You don't want Skype to know no, that you know. No, it says I have internet access. I'm going to blame stupid Skype. You don't want to know? You... Ah, okay. You're back. Okay. I'm back. So, Johnny Knoxville is, like, getting in trouble with, like, the uh, Chinese mafia and stuff. And then uh, Jackie Chan was, uh, I think it's his bodyguard or something. Something like that. Something like that. Um, nah. I like the love interest's name. You know what's the, the funny thing is? name is Bing Bing Pan. I remember a few years ago, Jackie Chan, really when cool. he actually said, I, I don't want to do any more action movies. I just want to do like serious <laughs> acting drama movies. Every fucking Good year, luck. there's a new action movie by Jackie Chan. I don't yeah. understand. Why? What is he talking about? Is 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 the serious it's acting with Johnny funding. Knoxville or something? What? It's how he gets funding for yeah. the other movies. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, that is uh, Jackie Chan and Ubisoft, I guess. So, on to the next piece of news. Uh, Wait, what was what was the link between Jackie Chan and Ubisoft? No, we were the talking about Steve Ubisoft Game. and stunt people oh, and then Jackie okay. Chan. So yeah. yeah, Jackie Chan and Ubisoft, their next game. Their next AR game will be a Jackie Chan Ubisoft game. Hmm. That sounds pretty cool to me. 